Okay, in this video I just wanted to go over some some of the uh, helicopter menus for the uh, Spectrum DX8. I don't fly planes really, so I'm not going to go into planes. Um, as for your servos, you can adjust, um, like say on the 9X, you'd have uh, endpoints. That's what these are. And you can choose um, anything and adjust the endpoints. You can pick one. You can adjust an endpoint for both sides, like a throw both ways. Um, dual rates and exponential. Handy feature. I did use this on the 9X quite a bit. Um, for the MSRX, I haven't flown it yet, should be here any day. Um, I don't know exactly what I need, but I do have the door set up for uh, 50 on position 0 with the aileron and 100. You can change these both. Um, it effectively will uh, changes your endpoints. And you can do that for any channel here. And you can see the position. Throttle cut. Um, I set it up for negative 30. You can leave it at zero like it comes uh, standard. I like the negative 30. And it's with the throttle hold switch. And you can actually see right here with the... Uh, when I hit throttle hold, it's working. Throttle curve. For the MSRX, uh, just, I just leave it at linear throttle curve. 0, 25, 50, 75, 100. This is pretty similar to the Turnage G9X, which I was used to. Um, you have position normal, 1, 2, and throttle hold position, which should all be 0. Um, Wash. I'm not real sure about this one yet. Um, it's on inhibit. I'm not sure what exactly. I can't do anything. Maybe it's because I have uh, one servo type selected. Gyro, I haven't inhibited, but you can um, have it on. You can have it on the gyro switch. You can assign it to any switch you want, basically. Very handy, being able to assign all your switches all over the place. Um, governor, I'm not using that. Pitch curve. You don't. I don't have a pitch curve with the MSRX, but it's very simple. You can use normal, idle one, idle two, and throttle hold. You can set your pitch curves for all of them. Um, like say normal, if you had like a collective pitch, you'd. Uh, you wouldn't want um, zero for your normal mode all the way down because it would give you so much negative pitch. Um, you would want uh, I don't like to say like idle one. This would be a good pitch curve for um, 3D flying. Just a linear pitch curve. Full negative to full positive. Tail curve thing's new. I'm not sure about the uh, these tail curve settings yet. I will figure that out later. Mixing. You have a lot of mixing options on this, which is really nice. Um, you can mix any channel. I mean, um, aileron to throttle to uh, anything. Mix anything to anything. And then you can adjust um, how much you want it to mix. It's really, it's actually a better setup than the 9X had. Um, range test. Now on the 9X there was a button on the back that allowed you to do the range test, but I, I, it didn't work. It just, it wasn't working correctly. I have not tested this one yet, but um, you can just press the trainer button to activate the range test and then 
and then do it. And yeah, it'll go back to full power when you're done. Timer. I'm going to set this for about six minutes. And here you can select the, uh, if you want just a vibration, if you want just a tone. I like the tone and vibration because it gets your attention. Um, I set the timer to start at 15% throttle. And down here is like a, a overall timer, like an internal timer for the remote, how long it's been on since uh, the last reset. And here's just a good old monitor. Um, as you can see, when you hit throttle hold, you can view all your channels. Here's a good example of the dual rates. Um, I have dual rates at 50. It'll only allow me to go to around 49%. should be 50%. But And then when I hit the uh, aileron dual rate to position 1, where I had it at 100, then I have full throw. Pretty handy. Rudder, throttle. It's pretty much a rundown of the helicopter setup menu. Um, overall, I'm really impressed with um, the easily how easy you can program this remote. Um, very impressive. There's the timer. Throttle up to above 50% and it starts counting down.